Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs sonic web studios specializes in custom web design app development social networking search engine optimization domain registration email marketing online stores and more since our birth we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest as a leading web designing enterprise we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as php magento custom wordpress and more sonic web studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big small established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions we don't just create beautiful and functional websites we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues we aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mian Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Royal, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where Truth is an illusion, and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by me and Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today of Four Goals Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and Heard Worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himbley, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. 
And don't forget to support The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com with your generous gift. Also on Anchor FM slash support and PayPal. Make sure you give generously. And for great gift ideas like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throwback, throw pillows, tote bags, and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. Also under the Me Emotions Yeah gift store. And for more great gift ideas, including T-shirts and more, including great books by Me Emotions Yeah, go to Amazon.com slash Me Emotions Yeah and order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's based in Brentwood, Tennessee, and in the process of writing three of the books and also writes country music we'll talk more about that and uh in his new book it, it deals with the fatherhood and people with autism and this book involves a child custody battle and autistic son with a love for monkeys as well and um, this gentleman will be talking to he's been fascinated by relationships between humans and animals and writing a book about it and um also he um hopes to uh, have people to uh, walk away with a new respect for fatherhood and people with autism, which is uh, a big thing right now. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Brentwood, Tennessee, the amazing country uh, music writer and songwriter, I should say, and author of his brand new book, Like No Other Boy, Larry Center. Larry, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you on board, Larry. So you're based in Brentwood, Tennessee, and um, you're in the process of um, writing three other books, and you also write country music. And your book, like no other boy, deals with fatherhood and the people with autism. And this book involves child custody battle on autistic son with um, a love for monkeys. And, of course, um, you've been fascinated by relationships between humans and animals. And we'd like to talk more about the book and also your relationships between humans and, ma- and animals, which is amazing. And before getting to all that, Larry, tell us how I first got started. Well, I had the idea. I was watching... Uh primatologist on the today show being interviewed and he was talking about possibly using chimps as a vehicle to do therapy with autistic children and the idea just popped into my head uh what if there was an autistic boy who was kind of like a savant who could somehow you know break the barrier and actually communicate to chimpanzees while he was unable to communicate with humans mm-hmm. so that was that was the you know the seed of the idea and it just hit me really hard and i just started writing it you know i just couldn't stop and i wrote it for about 10 years wow. it took me about yeah off and on you know just i mean i didn't spend every single minute at it for 10 years but mm-hmm. it's uh something that just you know i just couldn't let it go and i kept writing it and rewriting it and I would show it to editor editors and they would, you know, say this needs to be changed. And so I'd go back and keep writing and keep writing. And then finally I felt it was, you know, good enough to self publish. So I put it out there and it's the re- reviews I've gotten, I've gotten like uh, 91 reviews so far and they've been all like about 95% have been either five or four stars on Amazon. So I've been real grateful. And it seems to really touch a chord with people who are interested in this subject. Mm-hmm. And how did you first uh, got interested in uh, autistic people, or autism, I should say? Well, uh, just when I saw that, I really hadn't had any experience with autism. But just when I saw that that interview, I just I just started looking into autism, and for some reason, it seems like I have an, an intuitional ability to relate to autistic thinking processes because I've been told by people who've read it who have autistic children who've said, one lady said, reading this book was like peering through my window, my kitchen window when I was raising my son. It was just so, you know, realistic in what I went through. So for some reason, I was able to just pinpoint uh the experience of autism and I really ha- don't have any experience with it myself, but I don't know. It just kind of hit me as something to be, to write about. Mm-hmm. So, I, it, and now, and uh, you know, the idea of communication with chimpanzees kind of interested me and they, you know, they're, they're fascinating creatures. And, and I just kind of put myself in the position in the book. There's a part where Tommy who's a child with autism, 
he goes to a primatology lab and he meets Albert, who is a gifted chimp who can, who's one of the most fluent chimps in terms of understanding human, you know, language relating to humans. So the two get together in front of the, these research primatologists and they're analyzing to see what's going to happen and, you know, what kind of barriers will be broken. So it's kind of, kind of an interesting subject matter and, and a lot some of it's based i don't know if you ever heard of a lady named temple grandin but she is an autistic adult mm. who uh actually develops uh for the cattle industry she's developed these systems that cattle flow through when on their way to get slaughtered they used to be just a random movement and it it made the cattle very nervous so she created these flow systems where the cattle would flow smoothly so they wouldn't be all adrenalined up when they got to the end point. And she kind of has an imp, uh, animal empathy with cattle, evidently. And she has, the way she describes it is in mental pictures. She's able to mental picturing, you know, thoughts and feelings. It's kind of like, it, it's hard for us to understand, but you can imagine like if you just when you think about a picture without any words around it if you just like that's kind of like the way I, I pictured tommy picturing things in other words so um that he doesn't he he communicates with natural instinct body language and mental picturing so hmm that's in, that's interesting it sounds like with um animals they communicate by pictures and humans they basically just um just level up and um and, and how is it communicating with um the chimpanzees for uh autist people compared to um you know com- communicating with uh, with cattle or other animals um well there's a couple of there's a couple of factual stories there's a one actual uh non-fiction story about a autistic boy who has a good empathy with with a horse and so they're there are other uh, animals. I'm not too familiar with, uh, you know, that kind of thing. I just stuck with the chimpanzees, but um, it does seem to have some. Some autistic people do seem to have an empathy with animals, but but certainly not everyone. You know, it's just like everything else is just a mixed bag. But. Uh, but it's 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 kind of interesting. It was always interesting to me to just see how far you can press the language barrier. You know, when you when you think about what if we could uh, use pictures to communicate instead of just words. Mm, I and, see. And, and when you're young as a child, say before you're like pre-linguistic, you know you seem to form these words but how does the word form but maybe there's pictures going on in the child's mind before the actual verbal response comes about hmm. so hmm. yeah there's there's research and they also what's interesting is they've done some studies on uh chimpanzee brains and compared it to the way autistic brains function and there is some overlapping similarity. Oh, really? How so? so mm-hmm. How so? Well, they've um, they've studied the, they put them put put the uh, chimp in the MRI, and then you you do word word associations and things like that, and uh, it seems to the same parts of the brain light up that the chimp has that the the autistic person would have too. So there's a it did a study on that, and um, of course, it's you know, it's just it's all speculative. There's no real um, facts about it, but it's something to to do more research about. So, mm-hmm. and, and that's quite fascinating as well, too. And we'll talk more about your book, um, like no other boy, about uh, a father who's uh, lost nearly everything, getting involved in divorce and more, and of course, um, having uh, Tommy, his autistic son, and um, you know, being part of this. We'll talk more about that. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios dot com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web. 
Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention to Mike Wagner's show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't don't forget to check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise at Amazon.com under the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including me and Motion Zia's Missing and other great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash me and Motion Zia. And check out all the products in the me and Motion Zia store. Order today. And don't forget to support the Mike Widener Show with your generous donation at the Mike Widener Show.com. Also on Anchor FM slash support, PayPal, and make sure you do it today. We're here with uh, author and country... Uh, Western uh, songwriter Larry Center here on the Mike Widener Show with his book, Like No Other Boy. And before we talk about Like No Other Boy, you're also in the process of writing three other books. He also writes some uh, country music, which sounds fascinating. And uh, tell us more about those. Well, uh, I've got three other books, and they're pr- kind of different story angles, but they're more humorous mm-hmm. type novels. Uh, one's called Personal Training. And it's about uh, an overweight CEO who uh, has a heart condition and the cardiologist assigns him to a personal trainer. And it turns out that the personal trainer is this middleweight female champion of the world from Russia. And she's very, you know, strong willed and he's strong willed and she starts stalking him to make him you know, be healthier and all. And she, and he's had enough of it. And so things get personal. Oh, so. wow. I, I can imagine. It's like, you lose weight. You lose yeah. weight. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you will do push ups now, you know, like that. I, I'm going so. to make a drink vodka. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if I want to be stalked by a middleweight uh, Russian. It's like, if someone did that, I just uh, shove some vodka down there and run or just put them in the river and just make them float in their back or something. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's like he at first he kind of likes it because he's thinking, oh, this is great. I, I'm, I found a great trainer and I'm I'm on my way. And then he doesn't realize he's getting into somebody who's going to like wake him up at five in the morning and, you know, really make him work. It's, you know, so it, kind of like the way we all are you know at first it's like oh this is good i'm i can do this and then then you go out and party one night and then you suddenly "Mm, i think i'll skip today (laughs) i think i think that happens to most of us and uh how about a couple mm -hmm. of your other books i think i like that first one so far Uh uh-huh and then i've got one called uh cat wants out it's about a female she's about 38 and she is she has an anxiety disorder and she goes into a luxurious health club for the first time to start working out and while she's there her boyfriend dumps her and her boss fires her and she has an anxiety attack and realizes she can't leave the building because she's too upset so she winds up surreptitiously spending the night on massage tables and yoga mats oh wow and uh running you know evading a nosy security guard and flirting with personal trainers during the day so oh my goodness i i don't know what to make of that story and how about your third book and i think this one sounds very interesting the third one is called uh keeper of the urn and it's about 
twin brothers, and one's a ghost who, who has passed on, and he communicates to the living twin brother through the urn, and he tries to convince the living twin brother to woo the his widow who who he's left with three kids to raise and he ne- he wants the living brother to step in his shoes and take over because the children need a father to look up to and since they look so similar he thinks that the living twin brother will be the best substitute for him so he's trying to haunt this brother to do this kind of thing but the living brother doesn't want any part of that so they're you know they're back and forth and and things like that mm-hmm. so. it, it sounds like your books pretty much uh tie into a theme and uh what do you mainly base your books on it sounds like you're more like on health anxiety and also spirits and everything and uh what do you what do you what do you mainly uh, you know, base your books and also your um your works on what'd you say no i i said i said what do you what do you mainly base your books on it's like what the underlying themes that you uh you care mainly carry yeah, I seem to write, uh, I try to write from a social condition angle, like try to sense what's going on in the in the atmosphere of the world as it is and try to, you know, filtrate it into something artistic. So uh, anxiety, you know, comes across and um, personal training, you know, there's a lot of I know, for some reason, I'm focused on health clubs. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, you know, exercise. And I'm, I'm trying to make, it's kind of satirical about, you know, losing weight because it's such a hard thing to do. And we all, we all kind of, you know, promise we're going to do it. But then you pass by the, the donut shop every day. And it just, <laughs> I try to make it sat, satir, satirical because it, it is hard. And then there are these people who somehow seem to do it. You know, we can't understand how did the how do they stay in such great shape? You know, it's like mm-hmm. so. And, and of course, also times in that pandemic, and I'm sure who uh, whoever works out during the pandemic, like they're stuck at home, they can all relate, right. and they're like, "Hey, I can finally get out and get that donut. Nobody will see me." So <laughs> that's right. See it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, now you got DoorDash, so you can just bring it to the bring it on home. You know, you don't even have to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And of course, Uber Eats and a lot more. And of course, you got um, friends, family doing it. And you're also a, a country western uh, songwriter as well, too. And uh, tell us more about that. And how'd you get interested in um, in being a country country songwriter? Well, I always loved country music. You know, George Jones, the old style country music, uh, that type stuff. And I always loved the Grand Ole Opry and Porter Wagner, who I met once and uh these are people that it just kind of it just kind of touched me that kind of music really seems to resonate with me i know some people don't like it but for me it seemed to really hit home so i just i was this was back in this was a long time ago i started writing and um back then it was the chords were simple and the, the words were pretty simple honesty was the best policy you know so Mm -hmm. uh but as time has come gone along country music's kind of lost some of that that downright honesty it's more slick now it's more commercialized and Mm -hmm. so i have a i don't really write that kind of stuff as much and but i had along the way i had a few album cuts and a song song called app for that by uh tom shepherd okay and it's about a guy who who got jilted and he's by himself and he wish he wish he could get an app for that to help get his baby back you know so he w- he's kind of wishing there was some kind of app to help him mm-hmm. and i've gotten some other songs a you know a song called hurricane and a song called which hand do you take mm. by ob mcclinton and uh few a few tracks that are, they play on tv just like the you know you hear the background music almost like a soundtrack yeah that kind of thing wow, so, wow that's fascinating but, that's fascinating and how'd you first uh, get interested in writing like you know be an author songwriter or any kind of work how'd you first uh, get started writing well 
I just, I don't know. It's, it's so strange. It's ever since I was, I remember writing short stories when I was like, you know, 10 years old, 12 years old, wrote short stories and went to college and I was always typing something and uh, just, it just kind of hits me to write, to do something creative. Huh? I don't really know why I do it. And sometimes I wish I didn't want to do it, but I end up doing it anyway. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It, so it, it's, it, yeah. it, it sounds like something you enjoy. And uh, who are some of your favorite authors and writers growing up? Well, um, my favorite author is uh, Philip Roth. And I just, I've always liked the way he wrote. And I like Catcher in the Rye, J.D. Salinger. And uh, I like Jay McInerney. He writes about New York City. And I really like this author named Gore Vidal. Mm, who's yes. passed away now but he to me he was just so brilliant the, his writing was you know it's hard it's hard to really find you know the true genius writers it seems like but uh it seems like a lot of the writing is just kind of geared towards a marketplace you know you have your slice of you know the, the thriller the romance and you know there's you, you'll find some that seem to go higher than that but so much of it is just it's kind of like based you know you have a certain market population and then that's who they try to write to but Mm -hmm. and and, and of course with your book as well too it's geared towards um the people um especially with uh respect for fatherhood autism and totally something different like no other boy we'll talk about that book yeah. in just one minute with uh, author larry center you listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonic web studios.com for all your needs also brought to you by our official sponsor of the mike widener show international war ring author mia molson zf missing available on amazon and paperback and ebook we'll be back with author larry center of like no other boy after this time out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with author Larry Center with Like No Other Boy from Brentwood, Tennessee, here on The Mike Wagner Show. And your your current book you got out right now while you're working on um, three other books and writing country music. This book is dealing with fatherhood and people with autism. And this involves child custody battle and autistic son with a love for monkeys. And uh, tell us more about the book, Larry. Well, uh, it it's kind of like, I don't know if you remember the movie it's a long time ago called Kramer versus Kramer. I remember that a, classic. Yes. What was it? Uh, Dustin Hoffman and uh, Meryl Streep. Did I get that right? Yes, exactly. It uh-huh. was. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. It, it was oh written by a, it was a big breakthrough book because it was from the father's point of view 
for the first time, you know, what does a father have to go through in, in a custody battle? And uh, so this is kind of similar to that, but you but you've a- adding in the chimpanzees. The the father wants the uh, he goes to a San Diego Zoo one day with a boy, and he suddenly wanders around to the primate exhibit, and he sees how Tommy somehow uncannily is communicating with these chimps, and the people around him are are fascinated. You know, it's kind of like ooing and aahing as the chimps imitate Tommy and Tommy imitates the chimps and he, the boy seems to break out of his shell when he's around the chimps. So the father tries to get him with a chimp therapy situation in a lab, but the mother is opposed to it because she doesn't want the boy mimicking monkeys. She thinks this is not good for him. So she wants to take the boy to a private school in Houston where she wants to move so there's a custody battle because she can't leave the boy out of state without the father's approval since they have shared custody so you know it has that custody battle issue in it so Mm -hmm. i won't tell i don't want to tell any more than that but that's part of the story right there and and it seems and and it seems very common too in today's society where um where, where the where the wife you know wants to pretty much take everything and uh, she wants to leave him with nothing but a stack of child support bills and a lawsuit for full custody and of course you know the whole thing that if um that if the father wins the battle he gets to keep the only person in the world who matters to him and if the father loses the battle his ex-wife will pretty much uh, tear the son away and um send to houston pretty much just rip him apart so it's almost like you, you kind of have like you know pick your size, pick your poison, and anything like that. It's almost like what's happening um, in today's society when it comes to divorces. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the mother has her good reasons. She She's found this legitimate school in Houston that has some legitimate therapies for autism, and so she wants to take the boy there. But the father has good reasons because he sees how much – Tommy improves when he's around the chimpanzees, how he lights up and he thinks that's the answer. So in the actual, they have a custody hearing and uh, I guess you have to read who to find out who wins. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And of course, this is dealing with um, ASD, which is autism spectrum disorder. And maybe you can explain uh, to our listeners um, what that is. That's also part of the story. Yeah. Well, uh, autism is you know you have a it goes from a severe situation where children are really fairly incapacitated all the way to something that's you can hardly tell a difference between someone with autism versus without it it's it's, so it's a it's a mixed bag there's a lot of variation in different types of behaviors and uh it sometimes i think hollywood or they try to make it seem more romantic than it really is but it's really a what it boils down to from what i understand it's a it's a day-to-day grind to raise a child with autism it's it turns a normal parent into a super parent because every day is a a challenge that we would normally take for granted like for instance uh when the father leaves the zoo with tommy there's a they go to the parking lot and a security alarm goes off in one of the cars nearby well this totally freaks tommy out because he's very sensitive to to loud sound so he he has a meltdown right there in the parking lot Mm -hmm. it's something that you know most people would just you know have it and keep going but this you know takes a half an hour to you know get tommy through this and he has to you know comfort him and be be there with him until it passes so you have things like that that happen that turn a parent into somebody you have to really be like in the book i say it's he's this is like the world series of parenting because it's it's such a hard thing to do Mm -hmm. but there's also lots of reward too on the other side Mm -hmm. and 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 also too there's also um you know support groups for autism and um you know help and everything and uh how can one person uh help with uh, autism and uh mainly how 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 can we help 
all kinds of organizations. There's one called AutismSpeaks.org. Uh, but if you go on the internet, there's, you know, a lot of community support and programs. We have a, a place here in Nashville that helps children. And I'm sure throughout the country, there's different places, you know, that people get support and there's different types of therapies. And um, I was just reading today about there's a genetic side to autism that they're finding through genetic genetic therapy. Not that they can do anything about the gene, but they're discovering that there is a gene that some people have that it's just you're just going to be an autistic type person because of this gene you're born with. So, and that's kind of new, mm-hmm. you know, a new discovery. So, mm-hmm. um, and yeah. Uh-huh. And, and also, uh, where can people uh, find the book and uh, and uh, how can people reach you? Well, I have a website. It's called authorlarryecenter.com. That's authorlarryecenter.com. And the novel, Like No Other Boy, I call it L-N-O-B just for short, but it's mm-hmm. Like No Other Boy. And it's on Amazon and uh it's on Kindle Unlimited if you happen to have that. So, okay, uh, okay. Well, that well that sounds pretty good. We're here with uh, author Larry Center of Like No Other Boy here on the Mike Widener Show in just a few more minutes. Um, Larry, just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. And uh, what else can we expect from you in twenty twenty one and beyond, Larry? Well, I hope to have more books coming out, and uh, I hope more people read this one because I. Uh, I really think it's a worthwhile message that people seem to really resonate with it. And uh, so I'm hoping more people will read it and read my books in the future. We certainly will do so, Larry. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Oh, my biggest influence. Well, a long time ago, I met this author named Conrad Aiken, who was a big author back in the guess it was the 30s when i met him he was pretty old but he kind of inspired me to uh keep writing you know so um that that helped me quite a bit okay but, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well that sounds pretty good and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point in terms of writing i would say uh if it's in you you'll know it because you won't be able to stop and if it's not in you, you'll know it because you'll be able to easily just give it up. Right. So mm-hmm. it's not it's not something that you have to force yourself to do. It's something that you just do because you just like it. So that's the difference. If you don't like it, you, there's no point in, in trying to. It's really a matter of just taking a chair and sitting down there with some words and just let things happen on the page and. Before you know it, you've got 10 pages written and you keep doing that for years and years and suddenly you have a full story. Uh, so. That That is so amazing. Once again, uh, author Larry Center, also a country uh, songwriter here on the Mike Widener Show from Bentonwood, Tennessee with Like No Other Boy. Larry, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And before we go, tell us about your upcoming projects. Once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Or can uh, people uh, purchase or check out your book? Okay, it's authorlarryecenter.com. That's authorlarryecenter.com. And the book is Like No Other Boy, L-N-O-B for short. And it's on Amazon and Kindle Unlimited. We certainly will do so. Once again, Larry, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. 
He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.